Hi, I'm David Cantor with the Law Offices of David Michael Cantor and welcome to Arizona Criminal Law TV. Um, today what I want to talk about is this Dr. Laura controversy and the fact that she was using the N-bomb over and over on the radio. I think the heart of this issue is the fact that she didn't address the caller's concern. And what she probably should have said was, you are correct, it's inappropriate for your fiance to use this word, for his friends to use this word, they shouldn't be saying this. And it's also incorrect for HBO and certain black comedians to use this word, the N-bomb shouldn't be used. But basically what she did was she immediately jumped into, why? HBO uses the N-word, why? Black comedians use the N-word, and what she was trying to say is, you've brought this on yourself. You're black and the black community has brought this on themselves rather than addressing the individual. Now, I think her saying, now I want to address my First Amendment rights and get those back, well, she has always had that. She can say whatever she wants. You are free to speak, but you are not free from the repercussions. And in this case, the sponsors didn't like it. Uh, she claims she's not gonna renew her contract. I, are they gonna renew the contract with her? Who knows? Sure, she might have a job waiting for her at Fox, but uh, that's a little bit different. I mean, they may say, hey, you have a right to say these things. And you know what? She absolutely does have a right to say it, but she doesn't have the freedom from the repercussion of saying these things. If she was serious about her radio show to help address the concerns of this individual, she should have done that first. Then she should have talked about the bigger problem of society allowing this word to be used in comedy, HBO, cable, etc.